Today we're going to do an overview of the arbitrage feed in Outlier Pro. Uh, this will be a quick video to show off the functionality, but if you need clarification or anything like that, you can hit us up on support chat, uh, on Discord, on Twitter, and there's also plenty of uh, support articles in the uh, Outlier Support Center. So uh, before we actually get into anything, this is clearly the web app, um, same exact functionality on the mobile app, uh, just laid out slightly different. Um, so. First things first, what is arbitrage in sports betting? Uh, arbitrage betting is really the only guaranteed way to uh, guarantee a profit sports betting. Uh, it requires betting on both sides of an outcome on two different sports books that have differing odds. So like sports books, it's not an efficient market. Um, you know, two sports books might price something differently. It's not like the, the stock market or the NASDAQ or anything like that. So um, it's a great way to slowly and steadily increase your bankroll, as you can see here. So let's get into the arbitrage feed here. Um, it's a lot simpler than the, the positive EV feed that we showed off in the other video. Really, the only filter that you have is to uh, filter by the arbitrage percent. So, you know, you can go all the way up. Most of the arbitrage bets that you'll find are, you know, one to five percent. Um, ones where it's five plus percent uh, might go away pretty quickly. Okay, so let's hop down here. Uh, let's pick this Alabama game. We got Joe Milton passing yards. And now you can see the difference in the pricing on the two books. Um, FanDuel's got it at plus, got the over at plus 210. And looks like Caesars has it, the, the under at minus 194. So you, you can see the discrepancy or the inefficiency in the markets. So it's super simple the way we have it laid out in, in Outlier. So we're going to go down here to add markets. And it'll open up the arbitrage wizard here. So, one important note is that you know odds can change quickly on the sports books, and lines can change quickly. So, we do want to be careful when we go port these over to the sports books that we're just double checking that everything matches up properly. So, let's see. We'll say, you know, we want to put down four hundred dollars to win back about ten bucks. So. This arb wizard will tell you how much you need to put down on each book to make back seven ninety six. Let's try to change this a little bit to uh, to get to a larger number here. Call it five hundred. Okay, so we're gonna hit continue. And so, if you wanted to place this on mobile, you would just pop it open, scan the QR code on here. But we're going to continue on desktop here. So I'm going to go continue at plus 10, Joe Milton. And it's going to say place 164.50. So I'm actually just going to copy that. There is he. See, power of outlier, it opens up right away. Um, this will save you a ton of time, especially there's other arbitrage calculators out there in the market. But none of them have this deep linking functionality that's going to save you a ton of time. So 164.5. I'm going to leave that there, and then as you'll see here, we automatically switch over to your, your Caesars app here. So again, you can scan it on your phone, or we can say we'll take this 335. I'm going to take it, try to actually copy it this time. And again, pops it right open for us here, 335. So now what I'm going to do, just quickly verify that the numbers here match up exactly. So we're going to say the under is minus 194. I'm going to switch to FanDuel and say that the over is plus 210. And I'm just going to place the bet. Done. And done. Okay. Bets are placed. And you'll see we're back to the feed here. So it's super simple. Um, you know, it's a Friday morning here, so there's not a lot of action. But it, once NBA season starts or you're on a weekend, this this feed will be filled with different plays. You can filter it to uh, different uh, profit opportunities and uh, you'll be all set to continue growing your bankroll. Um, again, if you have any questions, reach out to us um, you know, via chat or the Discord. Um, we're happy to take in any feedback or answer any questions that you have. Thank you. See you on the next one.